Hmm, time to talk about Unreal. So, I've been game dev silent for a year or so because I switched from Unity to Unreal and I wasn't anywhere near good enough at Unreal to make videos about it. But that's starting to change. I'm starting to become comfortable with Unreal. And so I have an opinion on it. My opinion of Unreal is that it is the best game engine I have ever used. But by a lot. Anybody who compares Unreal to Unity and finds that they are roughly equal hasn't used Unreal enough. Unreal blows Unity out of the water, and I say that after 15 years of Unity. Unreal is just better. So, here's the thing about Unreal. Once you know how Unreal works and you've got it working, and you've got the ball rolling, putting things together in Unreal feels like putting things together with Legos. When you put something into Unreal, whether it's a blueprint or an asset or a level or whatever, there's this really satisfying click, and you're absolutely sure that everything is part of the whole. It's all linked together, and it's all forming an image that you can clearly see. It's just like putting together Legos, except for you have to make the Legos. In Unity, putting the same shapes together is like putting together just plastic bricks that don't have any nubs on them. Yeah, you can sort of make the same shapes, but it feels like it could wobble apart at any second, and there's no sense of a clean connection and, and sharp lines. It's all very wobbly. I have been enjoying the hell out of making things in Unreal. That's an amazing thing for a game engine to do. If you enjoy putting things together in a game engine, that game engine is a winner. In Unity, it was always a struggle, and always felt like there was, you know, a sense of solidity that was missing. And that sense exists here in Unreal, and it's because this is a game dev engine made by game devs, and it really feels that way. You know that they felt that it was important that these pieces slot together correctly. You know that they felt it was important that you enjoy putting content in, because that's what they do for a living. And it's just amazing if you can get it to work. And that is, of course, the big gotcha. Unreal has a reputation for being quite unfriendly, and it deserves that reputation. Unreal is like a giant workshop full of every imaginable tool, including some tools you've never even realized were possible. But they're not laid out on the workbenches with their instruction manuals below them. No. There's tools behind the couch cushions, and on top of the fridge, and in the crisper cabinet, where you normally keep lettuce, and you stumble over one tool and crack your head on a second tool while looking for a third tool. Once you find the tools, everything slots together incredibly well. It's so easy to use. But, finding the tools... Oof. Here's an example. This is my most recent prototype. It's a shipbuilding game, and I've got it so that you can save and load ships. You can put them together in whatever sort of configurations you want, and all of the pieces will communicate with each other. So right now I've got these reactors feeding into this engine, and so on and so forth. There's loads of buttons that you can click that interact and change the what things, what's, what's going on. And you can pilot the ship. You can change things here, too. Uh, and now we're piloting it. Woo! It's animated and all sorts of jazz. It's just a prototype, so pardon the graphics. I've made stuff like this many times in Unity, and as I said, it never really felt like things were connecting properly. Here in Unreal, it's been an amazing joy, and if I were to start over from scratch, I could set up the architecture for this ship in two hours. Obviously, it would take longer to recreate things like individual control panels and stuff, but the fundamental architecture, I could get it up and running in two hours. Unfortunately, it took me two weeks to figure out how to get it up and running in two hours. And a lot of that was spent struggling to put it together incorrectly using the wrong tools. The worst part about this is that if you try and look up how to do something in Unreal, they will teach you how to do it wrong. 100% of the time, you will be taught how to do it incorrectly. That's a combination of factors. Partially it's because you're not searching for quite the right terms, or quite the right terms don't exist, and partially it's because they show you how to do 
one specific thing, not how to use the tools. For example, let's say that you want to search how to allow the player to click on something in the game world. Unfortunately, that could mean any of a dozen different things. And even if it meant one specific thing, there's no guarantee that that specific approach would be the best approach for your specific game. So the real answer is, well, you learn how the ray tracing system works, and you learn how player controllers work, and you learn how the mouse can be turned on and off. Then you can make it so the player can click on something, and if you know all that stuff, it doesn't matter what kind of clicking you're trying to do, you can get it working in two minutes flat. But until you know how to do it, you're going to be trying to crib from somebody who's got you convinced that it should be done this way when that's just one particular approach that doesn't actually work for your particular needs, and it's, it's a mess. They're actually teaching you to be worse than if you had just stumbled around blindly until you found the correct answer. That is such a huge issue. I hate that. In something like Unity, when you need to do something, you're probably going to have to add to Unity. You're going to have to create code or import code to do it. How do you do this thing in Unity? Well, here is my block of code that will help you do it. Download my block of code and import it into Unity, and it will allow you to do that thing. Because that thing didn't exist in Unity. Unreal is not like that. It's made by game devs for game devs, so if there is something that is needed in a game, it's probably already in here. It's, the approach is already set up for you. You just gotta find it. So when you look up how to do something in Unreal, what you really need to do is find the tool, the approach, the fundamentals, because you don't need to add anything to Unreal. You just need to learn how to use the power tools that it comes with. And part of that is finding them in the first place. So if I was going to make tutorials in Unreal, I would probably talk about that. Rather than, oh, well, over here, this is the world outliner, and so on and so forth. I would be instead talking about things like, well, this is how you use scene components correctly. And uh, these are some gotchas when it comes to nesting objects inside other objects. This is how you do saving and loading. This is how you do this, that, the other thing. Not as a specific example, but as an explanation of the underlying architecture. And that sounds really heavy, right? That sounds like, oh my gosh, I got to learn software architecture to do this stuff. Oh my gosh. This entire thing, no code, zero code. It's done entirely through blueprints and very simple blueprints. You just got to know how Unreal already works so that you can plug in. Like with Legos, they got those little nubs on top. You got to know which side of the nubs is up and which side of the nubs is down so that you can click them together. And I don't think there's very many tutorials on that. I don't think that there are very many good tutorials for newbies in Unreal. It comes off as very unfriendly. And uh, that's a shame because it's so incredibly good. Oh my gosh, it is so much fun to create things in Unreal, guys. Oof. Oh, people. So, I hope you'll take that to heart. And tell me what your experiences have been with Unreal. See you around.